I compiled over 100 crypto tools, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use them. These tools include everything from portfolio trackers to tools for doing your own research to tools for on chain analysis to NFT related tools to calendars to things to help you stay secure when you're using crypto applications to things to help you qualify for airdrops. Like I said, there is a lot in here. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and on this channel, I teach you to be a better crypto investor and to use crypto yourself. Now, let's get into the video. Awesome. So this is the list. It's on my Substack, dynamodefi.substack.com. I'll link this down in the description. And you can see that I have 12 sections. I have the tools divided into, and there's subsections on some of these tools. And these sections are portfolio tracking. That's straightforward. That's tracking your portfolio, seeing the balance, tracking your wallets to see where you have funds allocated. Analytics. These include things like the total value locked and revenue for different protocols, as well as some more specific stats on-chain analysis. That's everything you would need to find and track specific crypto wallets and get insights about what smart money is doing. Tokenomics, that's tracking things like token unlocks, as well as the token allocations for different cryptos. Yield farming, so that's tools to help you earn yield in crypto, as well as, as, well as be aware of some of the risks of yield, such as impermanent loss. Fundraising, these are tools to track, for example, new crypto ICOs or cryptos that recently raised money. Calendars, straightforward. Everyone knows what a calendar is. Uh, NFTs, these are all the tools related to NFTs. Some of these involve finding rare NFTs. Some of these involve buying NFTs. Everything NFTs is here. I've got a section for airdrops. So these are things to find, for example, upcoming airdrops. Section for security. These include things like lists of ex exploits and protocols or red flags that you should be aware of when you're looking at a protocols. New section I added recently for creators and communities. What this is, is basically tools where if you, for example, are starting an NFT project or you're starting a crypto community, you can use some of these tools to set up quests to keep the community engaged, or you can use it to link NFTs to discords, all sorts of stuff like that. And then I have tools related to FriendTech, the new SocialFi application. Sweet. So that's the high level overview, but let's dive in a little deeper to see exactly what some of these tools are. Well, if we go to portfolio traction, we, tracking, we can see that there's a bunch and which one you use yourself is largely going to be based on your preference. I will say if you're using things that are not Ethereum compatible, for example, Solana, I found Pulsar is the best tracker for that. However, if you're using EVM compatible chains, then many of these other ones will work. Uh, I personally tend to use DBank because I find that it's the most comprehensive in terms of having a lot of different protocols and a lot of different chains. They also have this useful Web3 social ranking here to see the most followed wallets. And if you look at some of these, for example, we'll look at this top one here, who goes by Anon. So I guess they're anonymous. And if you look here, this individual or organization, we don't really know, has about $21 million in their wallet. And you can see all of the chains they're on. 18.5 million of that is on Ethereum, 1.5 million is on Optimism and so on. And then you can see all the protocols they're on. So this, this individual or group of individuals is in dozens and dozens of different protocols. And you can see their exact allocation across all of these. And then if you go down to their wallet, you can see, you can see their current portfolio allocation that's in their wallet and not in any sort of DeFi protocol. And one useful thing with DBank is you can use it to track whales like this, you can also use it to track your own wallet, right? So if you don't remember exactly where you have all your funds, or you just want to check the dollar value in real time, paste your wallet address in the top here, and, and you will uh, be able to see all of your holdings. To go back to the tracker, the next section is analytics. And uh, you can see here, I've got the general analytics at the top. And there's a number of different protocols for that. And then I have another section for specific chain analytics. So these are analytics that only apply to a specific chain or a small subset of chains. And then I have a section for complex analytics. These are the things you see when you see sometimes big public publications talk about on-chain analysis. These include things like hash rate or the distribution of Bitcoin to different wallets. These, these are going a little bit deeper into, into on-chain analytics. Uh, and that's things like into the block or Glassnode. And then I have a section for social media analytics. And so this is interesting, right? You can argue over how much influencers actually drive the market. I think there's pretty strong, pretty strong evidence that they do drive the crypto market. And so these will help you track which 
which social media, uh, which cryptos are having a surge in social media activity. Uh, and as far as which of these tools to use, again, recommend becoming acquainted with many of them. I've got a lot of videos on this. The one I definitely use most frequently is DeFi Llama. That includes things like total value locked, aka deposits, stats such as revenue and fees, volume on different exchanges. It's really just a great tool for doing fundamental analysis on any sort of any sort of on-chain DeFi business. To keep going down through the list, because again, there's a lot. Next section is on-chain analysis. Now, on-chain analysis is divided into on-chain tactics, DEX listings, DEX and wallet analysis tools, and blockchain explorers. On-chain tactics, these are things to make you a bit more nimble when you're doing things on chain. So for example, you have llama swap and aggregator of aggregators. That's going to help you find the best rates when you're swapping things on chain and help ensure that you don't get, for example, front run or, or sandwich attacked. You have DEX listings. This, these apps like DEX screener and DEX tools are going to help you find and chart new listings on DEXs. Then you have DEX and wallet analysis tools. These are things like scope scan, which is a useful tool I like to use that tracks uh, specific entities and helps you helps you to uh, see what they're buying. Uh, and then other tools like bubble maps, which helps you to visualize the distribution of, of different tokens. Here, if we, if we take a quick look at it with Uniswap, for example, we can see that it shows you all the different major holders of Uniswap and the connections between their wallets. So this can, you can use this to try to find connected wallets for a specific token. And there's a lot more tools for on-chain analysis. By the way, if you want to learn more about on-chain analysis, if you subscribe to my Substack, you'll get a free 30-page ebook that goes through introduction to on-chain analysis. So if this sounds interesting to you, you want to learn how to track smart money and whale wallets, sign up for the Substack and you'll get a free ebook emailed to you. The next section is tokenomics. These are things such as token price and market cap, but also things like the fully diluted valuation and the um, token unlocks. So one useful website is called exactly that, token unlocks, token.unlocks.app. And if you look at this here, it'll show you, for example, on the front page, all of the upcoming unlocks. We can see that some of these tokens have, this token gal has a 1% unlock in about three days. By the time this video comes out, this will be closer. Uh, we can see DYDX has a 1.21% unlock in seven days and 11 hours. And then if you click into these tokens, for example, if I click into DYDX, you can see that only 18% of all of the tokens that will ever be unlocked are now unlocked. And you can actually look at the unlock schedule and see where we are today and what's coming unlocked in the future and who they're coming unlocked from. So for example, with DYDX, we can see that right now there are no tokens unlocked for investors and founders and employees. However, if we go forward a month or two months, then we'll see there's a number of tokens unlocked for all three of those groups. So this is really, really powerful to make sure you don't get dumped on and to understand whether your tokens have upcoming unlocks when you're researching. Next section is gonna be for yield farming. So if you have watched my videos before, or if you're at all familiar with decentralized finance, you know there's a lot of opportunities to earn yield with crypto. Here, these are just some databases of different places you can actually find yield opportunities. Then there's some other tools such as one for to calculate impermanent loss and other tools to that are useful calculators such as converting APR to APY. Again, I tried to be as comprehensive with this document as I could. Next section is gonna be fundraisers. These, for example, track things like recent fundraising info. If we go to this, then we can see we can see recent crypto projects that raise money. Not all of these are going to have action that you can take on them, but sometimes you might look at some of these projects, see that they had a major investor, and start monitoring them for uh, when or if they launch a token in the future. Next section is calendars. I think that's probably pretty straightforward. You can guess what a crypto calendar is. This is just going to have have a ton of pretty much every major and minor upcoming event for crypto. So things ranging from hard forks of blockchains to things that are as inconsequential as an AMA or Twitter space, but it's all here. And by the way, again, if you subscribe to the Substack, every Monday I send out a calendar where I have a highlight of what I consider to be the most important events from these calendars every day. So that could help you with some of that curation. 
Next section is NFTs. This includes things like NFT price floor, OpenSea Pro, trending collections and mints, lots of different stuff for you to track uh, and manage your NFTs. Next section is going to be airdrops. These are all the tools that are going to help you find the best airdrops in crypto. And to look at some of these, for example, airdrops IO, it's got the latest airdrops, the most popular ones, and then some potential airdrops that are unknown in the future. And if we just click on one of these, I don't actually know that much about this protocol, but I clicked on it, then it's got a step-by-step -step guide with instructions for things that you can do to hopefully qualify for this airdrop. So if you're into airdrops, lots of tools here to help you with that. Next section is for security. So we all know there's a lot of issues with security in crypto, but there's actually many tools that can help you stay safe. One of these tools is RugDoc. If you go to this here and look at some of these protocols that they highlight, they'll highlight red flags. So for example, I don't know anything about this protocol, NanoSwap, and I'm glad I don't because the project rugged website is down, liquidity removed. That's another rug. Here we have, let's see, this one looks to not be rugged yet. However, you can see that it's classified as high risk. And if you click into it, they're going to give you all of the red flags, all of the, all of the warnings of things that would probably be an indicator that you wanted to at least be very careful, if not stay away entirely from this project. I would say when I see high risk, I like projects that don't have high risk on RugDoc. I'll leave it at that, right? There's lots of projects that are good that don't have those red flags. Next section is going to be creators and community. So these are a little different because this isn't about investing in crypto. This isn't about researching. This is about actually trying to build something yourself. And so it includes things like Third Web, which is no code smart contract creation. I've used Third Web myself. Collabland to build NFT gated Discord and Telegram groups. One really powerful tool here is Galaxy, G A L X E. And here, for example, you have different protocols that offer rewards for participating in their community. Or if you're building a community, you can build your own quests here and then, and then uh, maybe set up some rewards to get people to. For example, retweet you, join your Telegram group, etc. So really cool thing here. You can see that you can earn this earn this uh, NFT just by completing these tasks for this one. And so you can also go here and, and see if there's any useful quests that might qualify you for some interesting perks. Then the final section is tools for social fire, specifically friend tech, things like charting, things like analytics, things like key management. Uh, that might be useful to you. Uh, and that's the gist of what's on this document. A bit different than my normal videos, but I hope some of you find this helpful. A lot of work went into compiling this. And if you want more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.